Hello and welcome to my channel Wonders of Price Action. This is the monthly chart of gold. Gold is now looking quite interesting on the monthly level because what is the interesting in this matter? The monthly monthly candlestick patterns. They are looking alike, but they are this time they are different. Candles right now. How? Watch here on the monthly level in the 2011. This was the downward move on the monthly time frame. So it came downward. Here it was rejected clearly. Here it was also rejected. And also before going upward, there was a consolidation on the monthly time frame. But here, now let me show you the difference from these months to these months, these monthly levels while coming down and going upward. We have a different scenario. This was a clear downward move on the monthly time frame. Here it is clearly to the upward move. Now, what is the other difference that I want to show you here that gold is bullish. Here it was rejected, but here why watch here first exactly three months it went up one month it came down to retest and on the next month clear breakout to the upward and this month is about to end and is still bush so monthly i don't see any downward though it looks like uh, that this matches these rejections but there is a difference on the monthly time frame on the weekly time frame watch here that uh, this was the rejection here on the weekly time frame here it was the rejection at the weekly time frame here two weeks three weeks has passed but even the upward week is not broken watch here this was a clear upward move retested went up but this bullish week has not been broken even after three weeks here was the rejection this was the retest it came down but this is showing a quite different scenario also on weekly time frame. Now let us move to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, it shows the consolidation from here. This is the downward move. This day has been broken clearly, but after coming downward, from how many days it is in consolidations 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 this is the 10 days consolidation in which what are the highs and lows after this low now first of all let me put the horizontal line here this is the line for keeping the bullish momentum it is very important that this level maintains. The gold is able to maintain this level, then it is the still the bullish momentum. This can just be called the retest. If this level is broken on the daily time frame, then it could come on for some retest or but it will be bearish. Then we can say anything, but for the current. Uh, situation I am expecting that this will this level will not be broken I think so it could be broken if, if this is broken then we will have to watch the below any level that gold could go to but now let us move to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame what I have shown you the previous 
previous uh, high time frames in which I think that the gold is going upward. While going upward from here, the gold can pro retest this level. Now I want to show you the retest consecutive retests of the gold. First retest was of this level. This was the this was the four hour level and 1934 30 yes 1934 it was the retest. Then what was the retest? That was the daily time frame level retest that I want to show you here that then this was the retest of this level. Now let me show you. Let me show you this level. Then the gold came down to retest this level. Now let us move and find out this level on the 4 hour time frame. Now after retesting this level, the gold then came to retest this level also. But before, now we can say this was the retest or this was the retest but both were the retests consecutively. Now let me show you again here. That was This was the deeper retest and after that this was the retest again. Now the gold went all the high, all the high of the, uh, the trend that is current now then came to retest this level. As these levels were retested earlier, then watch here, this is the 4 hour time frame level. Here it was resistance, here it was support, here it was support. Ultimately this was broken and this level has been retested. But from here, from this low, went up to this high, came to this low but did not touch this again went up to this level but this high is also not broken. Now let me show you this high also. After this low this has been the high. Now from this low while coming down this is the high and now the market is consolidating in this range and I am expecting even for the next two days that it is expected uh, to two days means from 1st May and 2nd May because the 3rd third, third May is a very important day and it is the day of the FOMC meeting for US dollar. That is a very uh, very strong uh, news that will uh, move the markets so it is waiting for that day. Maybe it could break down or there is another scenario. There are two other news before 3rd May. Now if before 3rd May it breaks down, then it will go to retest and break will go to the downward. And another expectation is that the gold will break, will break this level that is 20, 2012 will break this level and again come will come to retest this level which is now let me put that level also now what i am expecting from gold right now now let me show you here this is the level that is 1996 now, in the two, next week, the first two days, it will be able to break here. Then on the third day, after retesting this level, it will shoot up and go upward. So, what I am expecting, this is the scenario. Now, in this condition, whether if you want to put the only condition, if, if the market opens on the uh, first May, if you want to put either sell or uh, buy, you can only buy 
hold right now. We can't sell it right now until this level is broken. So, and sometimes when the gold has to go to the upper levels, these levels take times for retesting. So this consolidation, higher the consolidation, higher if the consolidation period is higher, the move is that high or low because this is the retest because if the gold buyers has to buy the gold above these levels then they need compensation for buying the gold on the lower price also and also that there is the a problem that is with uh, currently BRICS uh, there is the there are the countries uh, Brazil, uh, China, Russia, South Africa, they are uh, considering to bring a mutual currency and they want to replace uh, the uh, uh, USD as a reserve currency. So due to these conditions and they are in, they are intending, they have intended Though still that is in the process, they want to peg their that current currency to the gold. So it is high probability that the Russia and China will keep buying the gold. So the gold is expected to appreciate. It can go too high. So watching all these conditions. Now, if you find this level, if not broken. If this level is broken, then I can't say anything. These levels are very important. This has been the just retest. Sir. Now, let me show you one thing more. For the weekly time frame, when the gold was coming down from the previous high, now let me clear all these, these uh, horizontal lines. Watch here. From here, the gold was down. We don't think that this is these are the retests. This was the downward move. But here there is no downward move. This was the second. This is the second I can say. Though this is looks like the retest. But these kind of moves on the on the gold are any pair are, are reversals. But it went again reversed back because the conditions changed and the uh, the banks failures when banks failed uh, these are the reasons and the gold uh, for, if there's a, there are problems for USD right now so the trend has changed the gold is now upward so we can't say that it will come uh, for any deep tests now it is enough I think if this the gold is to go upward then it is very important that it maintains this level. If this level is broken, then I will try my best to uh, analyze the gold. If this level is uh, broken or, or, uh, or it maintains. But if you want to see the uh, my gold analysis on daily basis, I, I, I will do so. And please load, let me know in the comments that I will refresh my analysis every day this is possible for me now it's all up to you what do you want to see whether it on we want to see weekly or daily what what do you want to see but for the bearish part this is very important that this level is maintains and this was just the retest now the gold has if the gold, the buyer says to buy on higher prices they are compensating here for buying on low prices so anyway, if you want to uh, put the trade here or here whatsoever on the high time frames, then the stop loss will enter this level. Now I'm putting right now here. Now let me put the long position here. Long position here. Okay. Stop loss. Now let me stop loss below this level. And for tech crowd options, there are many. Now, on the daily time frame, let me show you. After this entry, we have many tech crowd options. 
even beyond that level. Now let us move to the weekly time frame for now let me show you the tech profit options we have this is the entry then we have here the first tech profit option we have here the tech profit option and uh, we have the here these these are all the tech profit options but one one thing keep in mind the gold has the routine gold does so if this level the previous high is broken it goes too high and then it uh, gold is going to fetch these highs if this level is broken i think the gold will shoot up and break both of the levels so these are the tech profit options on weekly time frames on the daily time frames do we have now let me let me adjust this now let me uh, now what is happening here first of all let me uh, set this tag profit options even up to these levels and for uh, horizontal lines now this is a daily time frame we can have some uh, one tag profit here between we can, uh, can have a tag profit here between here all time frames what are uh, whether you are a uh, swing trader, day trader or any kind of trader you do according to your take profit according to your analysis but I want to show you these all things like my this video subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye for now I'll be coming in the next video with another analysis bye